Hello, this is uh, Dr. Palanepan Manikam. Everybody is asking me what food to eat to boost up the immunity. And I can easily say eat papaya, garlic, ginger, citrus fruits and spinach. But I want you guys to understand that nothing will help that much as long as you are not taking care of the underlying problem. When I say underlying, it is literally underlying, lying under your chest, which is your abdominal fat. After lockdown, many people can't even look down. And that is a big problem. And that is what we are going to talk about today. You know, one of my patients who is infected with Corona is right now in ICU fighting for his life. He's only 40 years old. He's from India and he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. The main reason that we think it is very difficult to take him off of the ventilator is his obesity. His body mass index is 31 and his waist circumference is 95 centimeters. You know, there have been multiple reports that patients who are overweight or obese, they don't do well with Corona. And not only Corona, you know, obesity can cause diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and even death. You know, we get all these WhatsApp forwards saying that a person died at a very young age. And all what we do is say, rest in peace, and he might have been stressed at work, and we move on. Yes, stress is a factor as well, but more than that, the main factor is abdominal obesity, especially for Asians, in particular Indians. You know, obesity decreases the body immunity. No matter how much Nilavimba Kashayam, Rasam, Vitamin C you take, as long as you're obese, it's like filling a bucket with water when there is a big hole at the bottom. It is a huge problem for Indians, especially because we are genetically more prone for abdominal obesity. It is a manufacturing defect and we can't do anything about it. You know, we might not look that big, but all the fat goes straight up into the abdomen. If little kids are playing hide and seek beneath your belly, then that's a problem. And if you go for a party, if you could use your belly as a dining table for your plate, that is even a bigger problem. Okay, how do you know whether you are obese or not? It is based on two numbers. One is your waist circumference and the other one is your body mass index. And I'm going to show you how we are going to calculate this. All you need is a inch tape and a weighing scale. For measuring the waist circumference, you need the inch tape measured all the way around your body at the level of your belly button. And when you do this, Make sure that you are not holding your breath like this. This is not for shadi.com. Make sure that you exhale and check the number on the tape right after you exhale. So when you do this, three things have to be checked. Number one, take your shirt off and measure right at the level of the belly button. And number two, make sure that the tape is not twisted. Make sure it is straight and not too tight. And most importantly, number three, don't hold your breath. This is not a competition. This is for yourself. So to make it simple, I'll tell you the numbers in centimeters. More than 90 centimeters in male and more than 80 centimeters in female, it is considered as obesity. So if you are a male measuring more than 90 centimeters or a female more than 80 centimeters, congratulations, you have passed the test. You are obese. You don't have to go to the second step. For those unfortunate people who fail the first test, you can attempt the second test. For this, you will need your height and weight and type in those numbers in the body mass index calculator mentioned below in the description. And if the final number is more than 23, congratulations. Even though you have failed the first test, you have passed the second test. Hard work always pays. For those really, really unfortunate people who have failed both the two tests, Please stop the video right now and forward this video to 50 people right away so that you don't get Corona. So if you look at the numbers carefully, the numbers are lower for Asians, in particular Indians, compared to other races. You know, for other races, the normal body mass index is 24.9. For us, it is 23. And the waist circumference for men, the normal for other races is 102 centimeters. And for us, it is 90 centimeters. As I said, it is all manufacturing defect. I think it is related to some bad karma that we did in our previous life. That might also be the reason why MS Dhoni was involved in that heartbreaking run out in the World Cup semi-final. Take me as a living example. You know, even though my body mass index was only 23, my waist circumference was 100 centimeters. 
I fulfilled the promise that I made to my mom that I will get 100 in each and every field. So I lost close to 20 kilos and then decreased the waist circumference from 100 to 87. So when I was 100, I always had flu infections all the time, which was compromising the quality of life significantly. But when I lost all those excess fat, I never had any infection so far in the last one to two years. Knock on wood. And I strongly believe that that fat loss will improve immunity for everyone. So instead of Sari challenge or Dalgona coffee challenge, I propose a unique challenge. Hashtag waste challenge. Take two minutes of your time. Take a measuring tape. Measure your waist circumference. Take a weighing scale. Measure your weight and also your height. Calculate your body mass index and write down three numbers in the comment section. Your waist circumference, your body mass index and your weight, current weight. And I will reply to each and every one of you and will tell you what should be your target weight. My heart goes out to the family who creates a GoFundMe page with a picture of two little kids because the husband is dead. You know, if you have young kids and if you don't take care of yourself and, you know, it is, in my opinion, it is nothing short of being criminal. Obesity kills you slowly. It is equal to cigarette smoking. I am busy. I don't have time for all this. I'm sorry. That is not an answer. Get your priorities straight. If that is your answer, don't have a family. If you have young kids, it is your responsibility to be around for them until they become 18 years of age. I'm very upset about this because exact same thing happened to my family friend. And if I can change at least one person's lifestyle so that I can at least save one family from a disaster, I'll be extremely happy. So I will help you in every step of the way so that you and your family can have a long-term good quality of life. Please take this hashtag waste challenge seriously. And if you are obese, we will work together to bring your weight back to normal so you can build up your immunity. You can fight off any disease or any corona. Do this not for you, but for your family.